she said migration should be an option not a necessity so i feel like it's so important to really educate the people and also bring awareness to the government that we need better conditions that we need better compensation for the workers so that people don't see themselves obligated to go elsewhere in order to be able to sustain and help their families Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. It's your boy Luis Portales and for today's video we have a very special one because I just wanted to come here very chill, very relaxed and just sit down with you guys to talk about the upcoming Bini Bini Pilipinas 2021 which I'm very excited about and you know because the pageant is coming up in July so soon and I'm not that familiar with the event I decided to start doing my research very early on. So recently Bini Bini Pilipina released uh, a few up close videos on pretty much all of their social platforms and I'm talking about Instagram, Facebook, they have put some of them on YouTube as well where they allow the candidates to introduce themselves. Of course, I really had to grab this opportunity to get to know some of the contestants and based on the videos, I came up with an early top 10 of my contestants. Now, I just have to tell you that all of them are not in any particular order. I just went with the girls that really stood out for me during this segment. But of course, we also have to take into consideration other things such as the looks, the performance and all of that but we will get into that when the time comes. For now, let's start talking about the first candidate and I am talking about Bini Bini One Samantha Panlilio, which is an advocate for sustainability. I mean, what I really loved about this girl is that she was talking about longevity of farming and helping the community. She really got into this about the economic benefits of long-term sustainability, which I think it's a great way to not only encourage uh, the local farmers, but also help the economy of the country and at the same time, make a better future for upcoming generations, right? The girl herself, I mean, she is stunning. Look at her. Everything is perfect from the hair, the makeup, the teeth, the lips. I like everything, all of it. I'm buying it. I want one of each. <laughs> Next one on my list, we have Bini Bini 7 Meiji Cruz and she is an advocate for gender equality. Now, I mean, gender equality, we all know how much of a, of a current subject it is because although we are in 2021, it's hard to believe, but gender equality is still a struggle in not only in the Philippines, but in many parts of the world. What I like about Meiji is that she's fighting the stigma around gender equality in not only about male versus female, but also bringing awareness, uh, fighting different types of discrimination, such as sexual orientation, skin color, social background. So what I really appreciate about her advocacy is that yes, she has a very clear point, but she is very inclusive and is not afraid to look into diversity as well. Good for you, Meiji. I mean, and her video was so beautiful. She looked professional. She looked polished. Props. And you know, you have to give them props because these videos, they made themselves the girls. Next one on the list, we have Bini Bini One Patricia Babista. Oh my God. I love her advocacy education for less fortunate youth. I think that it's such an important cause because education itself is essential but then when you are not as fortunate when you don't have the financial support in order to go and get that education it becomes even harder and that's when you have stuff like the cycle of poverty that comes in and it's very very difficult for the youth to come out of this cycle especially now during the pandemic i feel like if it was hard for them in the past now it's like 10 times harder because of the conditions and the restrictions and so many things that we have to respect of course in order to get out of the pandemic but at the same time we cannot hide the fact that this is having a long-term impact in the youth and the educations and this is something that in my opinion will be more visible in generations to come so miss babista props to you she is a beautiful young girl i mean look at her she looks like a barbie doll so beautiful and i feel like because of that a lot of people are going to relate to her like the youth will really listen to what she has to say so you go girl <laughs> Next one on my list, I have Bini Bini 12 Cinderella Obeñita. I mean, Obeñita is how you say it in Spanish, but she said it differently. Obeñita, something like that. I don't know. But girl, I love her cervical cancer awareness. That's such an important subject. Uh, cancer awareness overall, I feel like it's very important. But I like the fact that she really selected one type of cancer and went for that specifically because it's very important to demystify the disease. She is all about encouraging people to go and get help, look for treatment, prevention, and taking action when you should. Not always wait until the last minute when it might be too late, but be informed, know what your options are and go for it. Miss Avenita, I love you already. Beautiful girl. I love the hair. I love the smile. The makeup is lovely. I love the color of the dress. Is that like a shade of purple? 
kind of purple. I think she's a fan of the channel. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> okay, everyone, moving on. We have Vinny Bidding 17, Hannah Arnold. Okay, so Miss Arnold's advocacy, it's all about accessible learning resources for remote communities. And it's very similar to one of the previous advocacies that we were talking about, but I really like hers because it's more specific. Here we are talking about students who live in remote locations where perhaps they don't have the connectivity or they don't have the resources that they need in order to have quality education. I'm talking here about financial circumstances. I'm talking here about network circumstances or having access to maybe books, maybe internet, Wi-Fi, computer. There are so many things that nowadays are necessary to be on the same level as everyone. Uh, when it comes to education now with covid it's even harder because students cannot be in a in a physical location and attend classes so these communities that might be affected financially have it even harder and once again it goes back to one of the subjects that we were discussing earlier and it's the fact that very often these things have long-term impacts on the communities because they are not getting the appropriate level of education this will have an impact on their future and what they can accomplish in life you know I mean, the girl, beautiful, beautiful skin, beautiful eye colors. I love the contrast of the eyes with what she's wearing. Lovely. And, you know, the fact that she was able to bring such a such a specific but very important advocacy. Props to you, Miss Hannah. All right. Next one, we have Bini Bini 23, Yashmin Dimakulangan. I, I hope I hope that I said that properly. And she is all about talking bullying awareness. Such an important subject. And once again, it's one of those things that we have been talking about a lot recently. We know for a fact that bullying can be a traumatic experience for a kid, especially when they're very, very young, because that's when you start doubting yourself, when you might be lacking some self-love, some confidence. And in the long run, I feel like that's what really conditions the children to develop these issues and mental health problems. So bullying awareness should be a focus when it comes to education and when it comes to the youth, because that's how you prevent a lot of these issues that are going to show up later in life. Miss Yashmin was a victim of bullying herself, so I feel like she's in a position where she can talk from the perspective of a survivor, and at the same time, she's very approachable, so well-spoken, uh, so classy overall, and I feel like people are really going to listen to her, they're going to give her a chance, and I believe she has what it takes to really defend this very important issue. So I'm really looking forward to what she's gonna do next with her platform. All right, everyone, now moving on, we have next on the list, Miss Bini Bini 3, Patricia Garcia. Ugh, I really love this one, I have to tell you. Psychological well-being of children. I feel like it's such an important subject and it kind of goes hand in hand with the previous advocacy that we were just discussing. Sometimes we neglect psychological well-being especially for children because we assume that just everything is fine and that is precisely when all of the mental health issues start developing and usually we don't pay attention to them until very late in life and they become something more serious like a depression like a personality problem when in reality we could be paying attention to these things very early on looking for resources looking for help so i really appreciate what miss garcia is trying to do here overall she is beautiful well spoken put together classy she has that type of presence that i know for a fact that not only children are going to listen to her but also the parents also the government also medical institutions she has that presence that confidence when she speaks like she knows what she's talking about and i feel like that's essential especially when you're going to talk about such an important subject you have to be at your 110 percent at all times and i feel like she's bringing that to the table Really looking forward to what she's gonna do. Such a beautiful girl and with so much potential. Moving on, we have BB10, Maureen and Montagne. At least that's how you say it in French, but I feel like maybe Filipinos are gonna say Montagne, Montagne. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. But Miss Maureen, it's all about HIV and AIDS awareness. My God, such an important cause. And sometimes we tend to overlook it because HIV and AIDS has been around for decades at this point since the 80s nonetheless the disease is still around and although nowadays is no longer a dead sentence it is still a big problem with the populations 
globally, not just in the Philippines. So I feel like her message and her advocacy is a global thing, which I like. This has potential for an international stage. She makes very good points, such as education, fighting the stigma of HIV and AIDS, promoting prevention, which is really the way to go when you're trying to fight a disease like this one that we don't have a definitive cure. Like I mentioned before, this is no longer a death sentence, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't take steps and precautions to avoid it and protect ourselves, but also other people around us. I feel like bringing education and awareness is the way to have a healthier population. So props to you, Miss Montagne. <laughs> and I mean, let's take a moment to look at the girl. Beautiful. Look at those eyes. I feel I can see my reflection in her eyes, honestly. Her lips are so beautifully shaped. That red shade looks stunning on her. And you know, the, the makeup is very minimalistic, but very efficient. You can tell that naturally, this is a beautiful girl. So I'm excited to see what she's gonna bring to the table. Moving on, we have BB15, Karen Laurie. And once again, another one that is defending mental health awareness. What I really, really like about Karen is the fact that she was able to explain it so easily and so fluently. And I feel like even after this day, mental health is one of those subjects that a lot of people don't know how to define, they don't know how to explain it. If you ask them to compare, for example, mental health to physical health, for them, it's very similar, which in reality, it's not. So I really give her props for being able to explain something as complex in such a simple way. I like that because I know that with this new platform that she's gonna have, she's gonna be able she's gonna be able to bring awareness and educate people and the youth and the adults and all generations about this subject that very often is so overlooked but that has such important impacts in our everyday life. The girl herself, Karen, it's beautiful. Do I have to tell you much about her? Look at the hair, look at the smile, look at the eyes. She's adorable. I just enjoy her presence and her aura overall. So definitely props to you, Karen, and really looking forward to what you have to offer. Last one on the list, but doesn't mean that she's less important because I'm actually quite impressed with this girl. BB14 Justine Felizarta. I have to tell you that this advocacy is one that really hit home for me. Being a first generation immigrant myself, Miss Felizarta is talking about rights and welfare of overseas Filipino workers. I have recently been informing myself and watching some documentaries about this subject. And when I saw that she was defending this very specific issue, but nonetheless, less very important i was so glad to see that uh, within the advocacy list and she was able to summarize the issue in one sentence for me and that's what really made me love her from the beginning she said migration should be an option not a necessity so i feel like it's so important to really educate the people and also bring awareness to the government that we need better conditions, that we need better compensation for the workers so that people don't see themselves obligated to go elsewhere in order to be able to sustain and help their families. I know for a fact, once again, being an immigrant myself, that a lot of people leave the country not because they don't want to live in the Philippines or their respective countries, but because they don't have a choice. If they want to be able to help, if they want to be able to contribute, they must go elsewhere sometimes and go and get all sort of jobs, sometimes with conditions that are not the best, but they have to endure that because they really want the best for their loved ones. So I'm glad to see this type of issues being brought up on a national stage. And I really, really hope that it gets at some point to international stage because it deserves more visibility it is something that the government should be working actively in resolving so miss justine i mean girl you are stunning look at that skin color that smile the eyes the eyebrows the hair girl i'm kind of jealous i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm just kidding Shut up. <laughs> no but i enjoyed her and the way she speaks, she's very natural. Her aura, I just got a very, very good impression. So that's pretty much it, guys. That was my top 10 contestants so far based on the uploads videos that we were presented by Bini Bini Filipinas. I have to tell you that some of the girls that didn't make it to the list, it was not because I don't think her messages were efficient, but some of them uh, had like technical problems with the videos or the audio or the execution wasn't the best in my opinion, but it doesn't take away credibility from their advocacies and what they can do later on during the competition. 
don't forget that it's all about the performance it's all about the execution how they're going to present themselves on that final stage so let's not discredit anyone at this point i'm really looking forward to all of these girls and i cannot wait to see what they're going to bring to the table now you guys go ahead and let me know in the comment section if you agree with my selection but also if you agree with my comments if you would add someone else to the list who would it be and why i'm really interested in reading that all right my friends so before i go as usual don't forget to leave a like on my videos that it gets recommended to more people subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one almost every single day and last but not least come here and give me a hug because that's a little tradition on this channel you know that i love you that i appreciate you thank you for coming and spending a few minutes out of your day here with me and until i see you next time stay safe be kind to one another sending you all my love all my kisses and I'll see you on the next one.